What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I wanted to make a video about cleaning up after a girl leaves, okay? For those of you that are not actively having sex and or engaging in hookup activities, this is not a problem for you, but once you do, you are going to have this problem, okay? Especially if you're seeing multiple girls in a day, okay? I typically see two to five different girls per day, okay? And there's a lot of little gotcha things that can fuck you over <clears throat> and blow out a certain girl, okay? First of all, as I talked about in one of my former videos with the Jedi condom tricks video, which I have now since private, I've privated some controversial videos because of our nice feminist PC world and channels being removed and, and different strikes happening, and et cetera, et cetera. So uh, we gotta play by those stupid fucking rules. But I talked about that video if you are using condoms, you want to rip the condom so that it's still together, okay? What, I, what do I mean by that? You don't want to rip the piece off and have two separate pieces because then when you're going to collect the condom mess, okay, you need to pair every ripped piece with the condom, right? It, it just adds complication if you now have this torn off piece. Okay, so leave it together as you rip it. Now you have... You should have a one-to-one, -one, like say you go a whole bunch of rounds or whatever, you should have a one-to-one -one ratio. Every condom should have its wrapper and the wrapper pieces should never be torn off. Okay, if, if by some chance the girl opens it up and tears the fucking piece off, make a mental note or when you're picking it up, note that it's missing its piece, okay, because you're going to get fucked over by that little piece. All right, it's going to get lost in the sheets. Some other girl that you're fucking unprotected is going to see that shit, okay, or maybe you're using condoms with her too, but she sees this condom wrapper piece in your bed and now you are fucked, okay? Rookie mistake tying into that is that you don't want to dispose of used condoms or used condom wrappers in your fucking trash, okay? Guys will go and put it at the top of their fucking trash and then what happens? Another girl's over, she's throwing out her gum, she opens up your trash, oh my God, what is this? Okay, and then if you're clever, okay, you can use the story how you had your friend over and he brought his girlfriend and you let them fuck in your bed, okay? And then it must be from them, okay? Or you had a party the night before and that's not your condom. You don't even know what that, you've never even seen that brand of condom, et cetera, et cetera. You don't know why that, why that could possibly be there. Avoid this altogether by taking the condom and the wrapper, putting it in a fucking bag and keeping it in a high place where she's not going to find it. Okay, I keep this on high shelves and in, um, fucking high up cupboards and cabinets, okay? Somewhere that's gonna be out of sight, okay? Now, <laughs> it's funny because I had a Puerto Rico apartment where I forgot about my, my stash up there and my buddy was doing the walkthrough with the landlord after I had left. I'd already flown out of Puerto Rico and because he lived in the same building and the, <laughs> the woman like was reaching up in the cupboard and was like, what's this? And like pulled the bag and like all these used condoms like fell all over her head and like the fucking wrappers and they're, <laughs> they're like on her shoulders and like on her on her head and like hanging off of her. And it was disgusting obviously, but it was also hilarious. My friend burst out laughing and the woman is like, what is he, some kind of uh, porn actor or something like this? So every now and then, whether it be weekly or monthly or whatever, depending on how often you're having sex, I just get lazy and forget it. I even have that shit up there or forget to, to take it out. You can take that out to the trash to like a dumpster, okay, or on trash day. But do not leave it in your fucking trash can at the top. Okay, by the same token, you do not want to leave it in your bathroom trash can, okay, or any fucking feminine shit. And girls will try to do this shit on purpose. They'll leave like a tampon or a tampon wrapper in your fucking bathroom trash. They'll leave makeup remover pads in your bathroom trash, okay? They'll, maybe a girl sleeps over, maybe it's one of your main rotation girls, she'll leave her fucking shampoo, female shampoo, or makeup shit in your bathroom, okay? So you need to, like, do your fucking due diligence, empty your fucking trash can. Like, uh, trust me, this is bit me, it's bit tons of clients, okay? These things, these are all important things. Um, no one talks about this shit, okay? These are all really important things. You don't want to blow out a rotation girl over over laziness or, or just being careless. This even nails advanced guys, okay? You need to have like a, not like, you don't need a formal checklist, but you need to have this shit in your mind, 
right? Like after a girl leaves, you're picking up the condom and the wrappers in a one-to-one -one ratio. Okay, done. You're putting it in a high place, not in your trash. You're checking your bathroom trash can. You're removing fucking makeup. It's good to just dump the whole fucking thing in a bag. But makeup remover wipes. Um, fucking, you know, there's all kinds of shit. Her, the tampons and the, and, the, and the tampon wrappers are a big one, okay? And a lot of times, like, you don't even think of these things. And then the next girl's on her way over. And then she goes to throw some shit away in the, like, tissue, whatever she throws Oh, why the fuck is there a tampon wrapper in here? Okay. If the girl's leaving her shampoo or her feminine products, whatever those may be, you want to move that shit out of the way in a bag. Okay. And you have to keep that shit in mind because sometimes she's testing you like, oh, is he going to move my shit? Right. It's like a little test to see if you have other girls over and I'll move that stuff back in its place before that girl comes back. Okay. I had a girl the other day uh, leave a bag of her shit here, like in the open and I like hid it in my closet and then the next time she came over... She's like, why, why are you hiding this in your closet? I'm like, I'm not going to fucking leave that shit out in my family room. I'm like, I want my house to be in order. Change the subject, okay? What else? Fucking bobby pins and hair ties. They will leave that shit either on purpose or not on purpose in your bed sheets, okay? In, on your fucking uh, counters in your bathroom, right? <laughs> like saying all this stuff very seriously. These are very real concerns, okay? I mean, a lot of you aren't even having sex. Or having chicks at your house, so it doesn't even fucking matter. But once you start getting success at this, and you are doing those things, which hopefully is sooner rather than later, then you need to fucking comb your sheets and your countertops and look for hair ties and bobby pins. Okay? And move those things in into a bag. Um, you don't want to make the rookie mistake of, like, say, like, Again, this is a quality problem, but say say you fucked like two or three chicks in a day or two or three chicks across a couple of days, you find a chick's earring or her fucking bobby pin or her fucking uh, necklace, whatever the fuck different accessory piece that she happened to be wearing. What you don't want to be doing is being like, I think this was Jenna's shit or I think this was Melissa's shit. <laughs> and then the chick's like, I don't have that earring. Who the fuck was in your bed? I don't have, like, they'll even leave, like, fucking underwear, they'll leave uh, tank tops, they'll leave whatever. I've gotten burned a bunch of times by thinking I know who shit that was, okay? Like, sometimes, like, the last girl that leaves, you'll find some shit in the bed, and it, and it was from a different girl because you, you forgot to check before, and I'll text the last chick that leaves, assuming it's hers, and she's like, I don't have that fucking thong, or I don't have, I don't have, and, and there was... You know, a previous girl's thong in the bed that neither you nor the most recent girl discovered. Okay, so rather than, you know, I feel bad sometimes. I'm like, oh, she's not going to get to wear this shirt or, or thong again until she asks me about it. So the best policy is just to move it out of the way, out of sight. And then if and when some girl asks, oh, did you find such and such? Be like, oh, yeah. Okay, but do not <laughs> or do so at your own peril message a random chick and be like, oh, I think this is yours. If you're only fucking one chick, yeah, of course it's going to be hers. But most of you, when I, when, you know, when you're following strategies to get good at this, especially all the, all of the, those of you who picked up the leads machine and are now having your whole fucking week stacked up with dates and rotation. Uh, by the way, that sale is still going on. Link will be in the description. Um, so people have been asking, emailing me confused, like, cause I'm saying in other videos, it was for five days. It is now going for a few more days on the extension. But you want to be moving that shit out of the way, okay? So bobby pins, earrings, necklaces, thongs, comb through your bed sheets. Look around the sides of your bed. Look in areas where you're hanging out because this shit can fall into couch cushions or, you know, whatever. Um, and you can't get everything. Like Whenever I change apartments and I'm, like, cleaning out an apartment, I'll just find, like, tons of shit. Or, like, in my Vegas mansion when I was running programs there I, we would all have like this common collection area and by the time we moved out of the mansion there was just countless girl accessories and pieces of clothing and it, it's hilarious um you know you're not going to get everything we get this the stuff that's mainly in sight and the most important things are to get rid of those condoms and the fucking bobby pins and, and hair ties and then any kind of shit in your bathroom like the tampons and stuff like that okay um <clears throat> What else? That's pretty much it for those things. Uh, be cognizant of if you have like fucking 
scratches on you or whatever, you need to have like quick go-to response. Like say a girl scratches you during sex or say a girl gives you a, gives you a hickey. If a girl, any, it all go, goes to fucking kiss your neck. Um, you usually want to stop her because it's going to lead to a hickey situation and that's going to fucking cause all kinds of problems for you on new dates and rotations for multiple days. Okay, but if a girl leaves scratches on you, you have to be ready or bruises. You have to be ready to say that it's from your friend's cat or it's from... <laughs> Why do you have bruises all over? Oh, me and my friend, you know, we were drunk and we were like play fighting. Like I do martial arts and we were fucking kicking each other. Change topic. Okay. You need to have a go-to thing. Oh, I don't know why. She's going to assume it's from a chick. Okay. If a chick has like colored lipstick or fucking sparkles, there's another one that burns me or burns other guys. Say she has all this fucking sparkle makeup you've been making out. Now you have sparkles all over your face. <laughs> or you have... Um, what, what was the other one I just said? Sparkle makeup or or lipstick, okay? She, she, bright lipstick. You need to fucking get that shit. You need to heavily, like, wash your lips, like, multiple times to get that shit off your lips. So when the next girl comes over, she's not like, why do you have lipstick on your fucking lips? What? <laughs> why do you have sparkle glitter? Even, even their fucking foundation and other makeup will rub off on your nose when you're making out and on spots on your face. And other girls will see that, especially in bright lights. So you need to fucking wash your face, get all the glitter off, get all that fucking shit off, okay? And, you know, the rest is common sense. We're not going to cover every every case here, but you want to remove <laughs> traces of the last girl or previous girls from your household and from your fucking face, okay? Or if, if shit gets on your clothing, remove it from there as well. All right, go forth and prosper. Bang lots of ladies, unless you're, you're Julian, in which case you can start planning out kids with your wife, who's going to go from average to below average uh, within the next three to five years. Nice work, Julian. All right. Thank you, guys. Subscribe and like below if you have not already. Uh, good to be back, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.